Hilu, welcome to ANN Your World Your News, you are watching World News. U.S. Secretary of State meets Saudi Crown Prince. Humanitarian aid in Gaza discussions were held on many issues including the deteriorating situation in the Red Sea Palestinians hope that U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken's visit to West Asia will pave the way for a ceasefire in Gaza. In such a situation, the Rafah refugee area of Gaza will be saved from the action of the Israeli army. Meanwhile, on Monday, February 5, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken met Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman al Saud in Riyadh and underlined the importance of addressing humanitarian needs in Gaza, giving information about the meeting between the two leaders on Monday. State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller said that the urgent need to reduce tension in the Red Sea was also discussed between the two leaders. Blinken will visit Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Qatar, Israel and the West Bank from February 4-8. This is his fifth visit to the region since the Hamas attack on Israel on October 7. Let us tell you that America's National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said on Sunday that Israel has the right to respond to the horrific attacks by Hamas. He said the U.S. has helped unlock and enter the Gaza Strip and said more needs to be done. Rafah, near the Egyptian border, is the city where about one million people from other cities of Gaza have been sent to seek refuge. Now the Israeli army is preparing for ground action by saying that Hamas fighters are hiding there. But Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has made it clear to troops that there is no option less than complete victory in Gaza. Therefore they should work towards the goal of complete victory. Blinken's first step will be to ease tensions between the Gulf countries and release Israeli hostages from Gaza so that Israel can be prepared for a longer ceasefire. There, Hamas wants a permanent ceasefire in Gaza. So it is holding on to the release of 130 Israeli hostages.